This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 5th of October. I'm James Spann, getting ready for some cool air on Sunday. Let's get in there and talk about it. We'll start with some of the Skycam shots. These were captured early this morning at about 5 o'clock. It's US 280, and you can count the number of cars out there in one hand. Wouldn't it be nice if it looked like that all day? There's the uh, Gadsden sky cam, a little light fog, but nothing like recent mornings. And here's a look at downtown Fayette, where the sky is clear. There's our water vapor satellite view. Still got some issues as we're moving the uh, satellites around, trying to replace the one that went out a couple of weeks ago. But you can see that big upper load that's north of uh, Duluth, Minnesota, and that's the one that brought that big snowstorm to uh, North Dakota and Minnesota yesterday. That's advancing up into Canada. And uh, look at the cold air coming down the pike. You bet your buddy, 20s and 30s. Well down into the central plains, the leading edge of that cool air from about Indianapolis down to uh, Abilene, Texas. And, hey, we'll be in that air on Sunday. Look at all the freeze and frost advisories down into the Texas panhandle, Oklahoma and Kansas. You know, we might see a couple of spots with a touch of frost early, early Monday over North Alabama. But most folks will be somewhere between uh, 37 and 44. But that's cool enough for this time of the year. Now, this is the rain for the next five days, valid through Tuesday evening of next week. And uh, I don't know. I'm not so sure where there's nothing here. I think there's no doubt we need to mention a chance of scattered showers, maybe as early as now tomorrow afternoon, and maybe a little bit of light rain Sunday morning, as you'll see, but not much, obviously. In the tropics, Oscar is looking pretty sick. The uh, convection is well east of the center, and that thing should dissipate today. And bottom line is things are pretty quiet out there. Let's look at modeling. This is the OZGFS, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. There's that cold vortex up north. Down below that, the surface boundary is still north of here, so today should be nice. Low 80s, a good supply of sunshine. Now, tomorrow, here comes the front. Uh, this is 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and this is showing a band of showers moving into the Tennessee Valley. And uh, I think out of respect to, to the uh, you know position of this thing, we're probably going to need to mention the chance of a shower now tomorrow afternoon. We had talked about tomorrow night, but the models have been more consistent in the front coming through here during the afternoon hours. So during the afternoon, just the chance of a few scattered showers We'll go to 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, and, and the GFS is showing nothing. So obviously, this is not a big threat, but just the chance is there. And we'll look at the NAM at the same time, and it's got a little band of showers in here. So again, in our weekend forecast, we're going to introduce the chance of scattered showers tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. You know, not a heavy rain event. A lot of places will not get wet, but some places could. So uh, if you've got a football game, uh, tomorrow afternoon, UAB has a homecoming game. There's a game on the uh, Sanford campus. Uh, we're going to mention just the chance of a shower, so keep that in mind as you plan things out. All right, Sunday, there's that cold look for the east. Now, down below that, the GFS has a dry look, but we're starting to get the idea that there could be a, a low stratus deck uh, at least Sunday morning and maybe much of the day. In fact, look at the NAM. This is a... A high-resolution look at the NAM, and it's even got a little band of light rain in here Sunday morning. So, again, we're going to amend the forecast, and I think this is correct with this cold air advection. Uh, low clouds, maybe some light rain or drizzle Sunday morning. And, again, this is race weekend at Talladega, so uh, this might come into play here. Uh, we go dry by Sunday afternoon and with the sky clearing. But those clouds could stick around. You know, we've seen these low clouds be awfully stubborn. And if the clouds do stick around much of the day, we won't get out of the 50s. It'll be a very cool day. And then Monday, we're clear. Uh, be a bright, sunny day. We'll start the day down there, four, 37 to 44. Highs, uh, probably upper 60s. Tuesday looks good, just gorgeous. Wednesday, another front coming in here from the north. That might kick off a shower Wednesday night. And then Thursday, the front kind of stalls out around here as the upper winds begin to change. In fact, look at Friday. It's a battleground between a 588 ridge and the westerlies to the north. And down below that, a stalled surface front is near here. So uh, kind of a lower confidence forecast now toward the end of next week. But if this is right, there could be a few showers around by Thursday and Friday with a stalled front. So we'll watch that over the weekend. We'll check the end of the forecast October 20th. Ooh, look at the trough over the east. That's a cold look if by chance that's right, but there's been no consistency out there at all. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video will be Monday morning by 7 a.m. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders, 
We'll have the updates tomorrow and Sunday. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless.